Hey, what's going on, you amazing viewers? I hope everybody is healthy, happy, and doing all right. All right, this is your boy Gotham here right now, and oh man, guys, this is gonna be a little bit of a rant video. Haven't done one of these in a long time, but yo, oh my goodness, guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know where I'm going with this. I uploaded a clip yesterday that's may 22nd but for those of us that have not followed me on twitter just yet check this out guys as you saw in that clip oh that was disgusting i posted that up on twitter yesterday and i pretty much said they really need to do something about this gas mask animation for it to mess up my shot because of six separate animations just because i'm running near the gas it's ridiculous and guys spoiler warning that's how this gameplay ends Oh man, this was a great gameplay, man. Uh, we were really on on point. Top five scenario, and the gas gets me killed. I couldn't support my boy, so I won't really tell you how it's gonna end. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the gameplay as well. So after I uploaded the clip to Twitter, um, I got some responses. I actually tagged a, a few OG legends in the Call of Duty world. I tagged Drifter, I tagged the homie Thunder, and of course, Jive Turkey 600. Uh, Drifter replied basically saying he agrees with me. Uh, Jive, oh man, Jive's re reply was dope. Jive pretty much said that he, he actually mentioned this in a previous video, and he's like, let us use our brains. Press a button, put it on, take it off, easy fix. Feel free to go check out Jive's channel if you're not already subscribed to this legend. So I definitely agree with Jive Turkey. I like pretty much 100%, man. I think that the game should allow us to actually control the gas mask. And you know, Jive makes a great point talking about how you know if you do it, it's gonna and you leave the gas mask on because you know there's gonna be people that just leave their gas mask on the entire map entire match they just leave it on so i think that if they do that um they should have that disadvantage where the gas mask kind of blocks your peripheral vision a little bit um, i'm fine with that um i also think that you know there should be some kind of penalty where it does count down i don't mind it if the fact that it you know you you can't use it as long because the levels start to drop I'm fine with that, um, but that that animation is annoying, dude. And if you if you saw that clip, man, the fact that it kept popping on and off just because I'm running alongside the the, the line is ridiculous, man. It's crazy. So personally, I agree with Jive 100%. I just think that it's really stupid. Matter of fact, it's so annoying that one of my buddies, Dad Do, uh, who I end up partying up with a lot, he didn't use a gas mask for like over a week. Pretty much, he didn't want anything to do with gas mask, and I don't blame him for that. Cause to be honest, why would you do something that's gonna hurt you? Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I've done the 200 IQ play a bunch of times where I pretty much will have the gas mask on and I stay in the gas a little bit longer as everybody else panics and they run from the gas, and then I kill them and I get a win or I, I wipe a squad or whatever. I get it, I understand it, and I have no problem with that part of the the aspect of Call of Duty Warzone. I have no problem with that one bit. I'm a big fan of it, but I hate that animation. Don't get me wrong. I've seen the clips on Twitter, on Reddit, whatever, where somebody said that if you have your heartbeat sensor out when you're running to the gas, it avoids the, the animation. Okay, guys, why do we need a, a bug? Why do we need a glitch? Why do we need to outthink the mechanics of the game because of that stupid animation? It makes zero sense to me. I don't think it should be there. Don't get me wrong. The first time that I saw the animation, I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. First off, that there's even an item that protects you while you're in the gas is really cool in my opinion. And and I, I like it. I like animations like that. That's awesome. But you know what? The fact that it happens so frequently and in a in a 20 second clip, it happens that many times is crazy. They got to do something to correct it, man. And I, I know that I'm not the only way that 
the only one that feels like this. And of course, I had some other people reach out and <laughs> besides troll me, <laughs> like I think Mr. Tracky called me a noob or something. <laughs> but um, aside from that happening, oh, <laughs> Mr. Tracky said that my character was wiping the sweat off of their face. Yeah, I, I believe it, man. My character was probably sweating in his boots. <laughs> and uh, the real fear said that uh, that I need to get good. <laughs> I agree. And I'm sure somebody in this comment section is going to say the same. Hey, man, you know what? If I am a noob, then uh, give me some help. Where's my safe space when it comes to the gas mask? <laughs> help me out here because that joint is driving me crazy. And I don't think the response is to avoid the gas mask because, again, I do see the benefits of it. And I do want to use them, man. I really do. But the fact that it's, it's such an annoying hassle... That's no good, man. That's no bueno. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Has this happened to you yet? Like, have you died? Or have you lost a gunfight? Or just been inconvenienced in a gunfight because the gas mask animation got in the way? And for those of you that aren't as familiar, or maybe you don't play Warzone, but you're, you know, you like to watch the Call of Duty videos, when you're crossing the threshold of the gas line, your character pulls down the gas mask, which, you know, in itself is not so bad. But what it does is it takes it, your left hand, which, you know, normally your character uses that to embrace the gun, um, the front of the gun. So essentially the barrel, basically, uh, it takes that off. And now your character has switched from aim down sights, ADS, over to hip fire. So if you're in a long range, if you're in mid-range fight, that can be really inconvenient because you need that ADS. That the hip fire isn't as accurate, and even up close, it seems like your character sprays a little bit more than he should. So that's kind of crazy. It's kind of stupid in my opinion, um, especially for something that seems pretty straightforward. I mean, Jive Turkey's idea was dope, and in my opinion, like there's probably a hundred other things that they could do to avoid this. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys, you intelligent Call of Duty YouTube viewers could come up with a better solution than even ones that I presented in this video. So I'm really curious what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comment section. Of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. By the way, guys, in the background, this second gameplay, in my opinion, was pretty dope. It was actually... A point where uh, I was partying up with a couple of other guys in my clan, the Killers for Hire, and with the homie Wayne, the average gamer, my personal favorite audio host. And uh, unfortunately, I was the only one left, and I tried my best to clutch it, and there was a lot of action in this game. I'm not going to tell you how many kills I had, but it was a lot. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, feel free to, to drop some tips and some tricks for uh, Warzone in the comment section, because I will be reading every single comment, and I will make... A point of trying things out that seem interesting all right <laughs> so that's all i have for you guys today hit that like button hit that subscribe button share it out here i've got them signing off yes, it's moving. enemy precision airstrike take cover remain. Four targets remaining. Good work. Safe zone relocated. Time's almost up. Finish the mission. This is Tracker 3 1, good gun. Try to get back. Impact, no joy. Good job.